Hello and welcome to Florence. Today we'll be showing you the Beaver 300 and how to set it up for use on site. When your Beaver arrives on site, it will arrive exactly as we show it here. This is the blade mount. When it arrives, it will come with the dolly attached, which will make it easier for transporting. We move up, we'll see the Allen key. The Allen key will be used to release the bolts that hold the dolly in place and also fasten the blades. We'll have the two drive pins to secure your wheels to make sure that the wheels drive. Moving further down uh, the Beaver 300, you'll see a lifting point to make it easier to use a crane to lift it on or off site on or in trailers. This is the speed controller um, which you will use to, to set up the standard speed for your uplifting. Here you'll see the buttons for the reverse uh, mode. These are the buttons for the forward speed. Pressing a single button will drive the beaver forward, uh, reverse or forward at the preset speed of your control box. Pushing both buttons on either side will revert to 100% of the speed, which is ideal for moving the machine from A to B. At the top of the beaver you'll have the um, on-off switch for the oscillating motor. Off, on, off. Okay, coming to the back of the machine you'll see the uh, power cord, you'll see the drive motor and you'll see behind here you'll see the height adjustment. The height adjustment is used to set the height of the Beaver 300. Um, always make sure that when you're working either on the back or changing the blade that the power cord has been physically disconnected. Before we do anything further we make sure that we insert the drive pins. Make sure that the roll that holds the drive pin lines up neatly with the roll pin here. The drive pin goes into the wheel. Now you may have to wiggle the wheel just a wee bit until the pin goes in. Just do the same on the other side. Second drive pin goes in as such and you're ready to go. Now just before um, changing the blade or removing the dolly, the machine will have to be moved to the back. Safety first, we always make sure that the cable is disconnected and that the machine sits in the lowest position so it will rest on the stand and not on the motor. You do this by pulling the machine down a bit, pulling this knot back and dropping the machine. We'll now show you how to safely lift the beaver into its position for dolly change and for blade change. Make sure that your hands stay well clear of the blade clamp and the machine, as you'll see, will rest on its frame. Now, in order to remove the dolly before you can attach the blades, what you do is you loosen up the four Allen bolts, like so. They don't have to completely come out, they just have to give you enough room to move the dolly out of the clamp. There you go. And the dolly comes out. Before we mount any of the blades, we have to make sure that we choose the right one. Um, here are two examples of our most commonly used blade. Um, one is the 120mm wide winged blade, usually used to start off, and then the 300mm flat blade. We recommend starting with the narrowest blade first. The reason for that being is that there's more pressure per centimeter, you'll get a cleaner cut. We start by striping the floor with the 120mm winged blade, moving the machine over about 250mm, do another stripe until the room's done, then you follow through, removing the rest with the 300mm blade. As mentioned before, we usually start with the 120mm uh, wing blade. What we do is we insert it preferably in the center, uh, then we tighten all four bolts as we see here. Once you've done preparing your floor striping with the 120 carpet blade or wing blade as we call it, you go to the flat blade, mount the flat blade the same way as you did with the wing blade, tighten it and you can remove the remaining parts. One advantage of our system is that we have a direct shot oscillation system which means the oscillation goes forwards and backwards only which allows us to attach the blade Sticking out on one side, you can remove carpets or vinyls walking alongside a wall. 
We'll now show you how to put the, the beaver back into its position that you can use when you start working. Make sure that your arms and wrists are well clear of the blade and that you wear gloves at all times. Now there's two things to note just before you start cutting once you've got the narrow blade in. is the speed control. I prefer personally to start at around 30% of the speed and the height you start as low as possible. The only time when you will change the height is when the carpet or vinyl you're trying to remove is too resilient for the blade to enter it and to get between the carpet and the substrate. In which case you do the same as what we showed you before, move to the back of the machine, pull the knob and the machine will change its height and that's also the level of impact. When it comes to the ideal speed um, to which the beaver should run, is you make sure that um, you slow it down to a to speed where the wheels do not slip or skid. Now when we're talking about the wheels, I'd also like to mention the maintenance that we recommend. The wheels are attached uh, with an Allen bolt. The bolt comes off and which allows you to remove the wheel off the shaft uh, we recommend to do this after every large job. Give it a good clean on the inside. Um, if need be, re-grease it and reassemble it. Thank you for your time. We hope you found this video insightful. Should you have any follow-up questions, please contact us by phone or by email.